I'm back today with another idea to use up some of these window envelopes that, if you're like me, you have bukus. I have bukus. I haven't used that word in a long time. Today, what I'm going to do is make one into a piece that I plan to use in my boho journal. It's an idea that I saw Carol Laws do, and she got the idea from Marguerite Miller. I'll link their videos in the description. What I'm going to do is take this, this was our electric bill that came in this envelope, and I'm going to make it into a wallet. And I took, I went ahead and did the back, the stenciling on the back, because, you know, that takes a little while and shakes the table and all that business. But what I have is I used um, this die right here to cut in a mosquito control piece of junk mail. It kind of has a plastic finish on it and made a stencil is what I did. This this set of dies cuts the image through the paper so that like you basically have a stencil is what you have. But it's also neat to just have that design on your paper too. Anyway, I did the back already and I'm going to do the inside also with this. And I'm going to put pocket on here so I may not have to do all of that. I'm using pine needles distress oxide because I like this green. So I am going to put some of this across the top of this. I'm going to have to be careful around the window. I don't want to put the ink on the plastic. I probably can wipe it off okay though. So let's just add some here. This is kind of a Moroccan looking design to me. I don't know why I think that, but I do. So I don't know if it is or not, but that's what I think of. So this is fine Moroccan leather pretend Moroccan leather. I think that was Corinthian leather maybe, so anyway. This is Moroccan. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to add a, a, a pocket on this on this side of the page. So it just needs to be a little bit of design on the inside. Cover up some of the letters, the wording. And I sincerely hope that I'm not shaking the camera with this. Okay. I'm just using one of these makeup, triangular makeup sponges or wedges to, as a, uh, a brush to put that on there. I got that a little thick there, so anyway. Okay. That needs to dry just a little bit. Hopefully this is dry on the other side. I've got ink on my finger, so it's hard to tell. This is going to be a woman's wallet. And what I'm going to do is add this ribbon with it. I have a magnet in here. It's one of these um, rare earth magnets. And they're they're really strong. They're 5 16th inch in diameter and 5 64th inch thick. I'll just pull this out and show you what it looks like in case you haven't seen them. I bought these at, at Harbor Freight. There were 10 in the package, and I think it was about two and a half or two seventy-five, something like that, maybe almost three dollars. And they have all kinds of warnings about don't let children play with them, and they're hazardous to people with pacemakers. Those are the main things. And swallowing the magnets may cause very serious illness. But anyway, that's what they look like, and they're really strong. This is a little piece of metal that I took off of that. It's just that flat part there. I just cut it off. I actually took my pliers and just bent it back and forth till it broke. And what I want to do is I want to put it inside of here so the magnet will catch on to it. I cut some paper to go on the inside. Mainly I wanted to cover up this background here and have a separate slot for where the, um, this would be like an ID card that would go in there. This is really bigger. This is a $5 US dollars, but see how much bigger, too much big it is. Too, it's too big, really. But if I cut it down, then the window is going to be chopped off, and I didn't really want to deal with how I'd have to handle that. So anyway, I'm making it big, even though it maybe shouldn't be that big. But what I want to do is put the metal on this, on this piece and then glue this into here and then have that um, where the magnet will attach to it. That's my that's my thought. I hope it works. Um, 
I guess I'll use Fabri-Tac on this and hope that we'll hold it middle in place. I guess the other option would be just regular Elmer's glue or maybe some E6000, but I'm going to see if this is going to work. Just put it, get my glue going. Just going to put some right there. And then place this down on top of it. Use my little pokey tool to position it. Hopefully it'll be in the right spot. And then I'm going to glue this inside. I'm going to glue it inside this part that has the, the window there. And I think what I'm going to do is just glue. Let's see, it's going to go like this. Um, I'm going to glue this side and across the bottom in that part right there. And then I'm going to have another piece that attaches to the end of that. We'll see. This will, this will make it have um, a place to put money behind or whatever thing our lady would like to put in her wallet. I have to come up with a name for my friend who I'm making a journal for. Something boho-like. I don't know what a boho name would be. Okay, I'm just going to slide it down to the end there. And press that in place. I hope that ink is dry. Okay. Now I'm I'm going to go ahead and press that down so it's a little bit right flat. So, hope this works and it does. So that's just going to be like that. And then I'm going to take it to the other side and glue that in place over here. And I think I'm going to glue it um, a ways down, all across. I took this to the sewing machine and stitched the end. I folded it up and stitched the end with some gold thread just to give it a little design and hold it, the end to keep it from raveling. To keep the end from raveling. Okay. Let's see if I can get this on here straight. That. Hopefully that will hold tight enough like that. Scoot that up a little bit. Okay, so that's the basic idea there. This edge is not real pretty because the flap was glued down. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything special to that or not. But anyway, so that is the pocket for an ID card to go in there. And then I thought I'd put this piece down here. I'm going to put this at the bottom. This is one of those little pads from um, Dollar General. It has, um, I think it's American Crafter is the, the brand that they have. And I'm going to slide it behind there, I think. I think on this one, I'm just going to put a little glue at the end and across the bottom like I did before. I thought it was a great idea to make a wallet out of one of these window envelopes because it's, it makes the perfect um, place to put your ID or whatever you want to stick in there. Okay. Put this down behind here. That. Okay. And I guess maybe I should connect those two together there. Oh, it's always so much fun working with glue in tight spaces. Okay. I just want it down in the bottom of that crease a little better than I've got it. Okay, let's see. That's pretty good, I think. Okay. And I'm going to connect that because I don't really want that to be separated there. And it doesn't need too much. Okay. 
But that's basically the uh, the wallet. But I thought we would make um, a pocket to go on this side. Um, maybe I need to cut that off. All right, like that. I need to cover that up, so I'm going to have to put this with this end of that. But I think I'm going to um, cut a little divot there to have where you can reach inside there and pull out anything that's in there. I have uh, my one inch punch here. I'm just going to eyeball it, as we say. I kind of look at, at what's on either side to, to make that even. And I just want a little. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. Okay. And I'm just going to glue that down around those three edges. I could make it on the smoother side, but I think I'm going to use the side that has the texture on it. Okay. Just add glue. The three sides. I think my glue is getting a little, a little tired. Okay. Just put that down like that. And then she can slide in whatever little things she wants to have there. I hope it's not too deep, but anyway. Like a card. How about a Hobby Lobby card? Slide in there. But I'm thinking that she's from a different time period and Hobby Lobby maybe didn't even exist when she was. I think I'm taking that off because I think it's getting too many patterns in there. I'm just going to trim it off with my scissors. Hopefully without going crooked. They say look to where you're cutting toward. And this pocket I think is more of a top loaded pocket. And I think I want it a little bit shorter than that because um, it seems kind of deep. I'm going to use these lines on here to, to cut it this time and just go through the middle of that little design and go across like that. Okay. Yeah, that will be good. Now I'm going to be a little bit messy on the inside. Hopefully it won't show on the outside. I'm just going to put it kind of in this corner a little bit, like that. Okay, so basically that is the wallet. Just needs some things in it. Oh, I'll give her the five dollars to start. I mean, she needs some money. We all need a little money. And here's a stamp. It's an airmail stamp, five cents, which tells you something right there that it's very old. Put that in there. I want to make an ID card to go in there. Okay, this is transport bus. That's orange. It's kind of garish with that. Um, there's a ticket to a movie, I think. And that's a a blue ticket that works. She can have that. Oops, stamp is going down inside. Get it up there a little bit. I may have a different idea for that. Um, she really likes going to the movie, so we'll just give her three tickets for the movie. And let's see if we have anything else here.
I have lots of stamps over here. These are all canceled for the most part. So I had other things written down that you could put in the wallet. Picture of her sweetheart. Um, tickets to the theater. Work ID. Money. Business cards. Um, a map. A hand-drawn map. How to get somewhere. A note from somebody. I may have to work on that. To see what else I can come up with. She could have a check in there. She could have a paycheck in there. She could have... Um, well, credit cards of a certain generation, but I don't think she's quite that generation, so she didn't get a credit card. I made this ID card. This is a, a photograph that was my one of my aunts and uncles, my daddy's sister, and I just took her picture off of that. I've used her before. And then I used some of these stamps that I have. Um, this one I used here to kind of have that seal on there, make it look a little bit official. And then that one just is, I mean, it's, it's not anything at all to do with a ID, but it has to do, I mean, it has money and lines on it and a signature. So we'll pretend that this is her ID card. And I made it big to go in the, in the pocket here. I'll just fit that in there. I don't have her name on there, so I'll have to Figure out what that's going to be. And then I made a bus ticket. I have this set of stamps. Um, ticket booth by Tim Holtz. And I use this bus transport. Transport buses. And I think it's out of Philadelphia. So I have these scissors. That have a wavy line on the edge. And I use that to cut the top and the bottom. Like it's torn off of a ticket roll. And then I'm just going to take my scissors. And cut down the side here. And hope I get it straight. And this side is almost straight, not quite. It doesn't really matter too much. And then on this one, I think I'm going to make it where it looks like this top part could be torn off. And just put a little divot here. I'm just using my regular hole punch. Except I can't see what I'm doing with it upside down. I have to do it this way. Just do kind of a half circle there. And on the other side... Okay. You could, if you wanted to, just punch some holes and, you know, like she's taking this train or the bus at this time and she could still use it at other times or what it, however it was set up. And I'm just going to use a little bit. This is vintage photo on this little sp uh, thread spool with a felt tip on it. Just make this a little bit grungy. And this is, I mean, this is just for fun. It's just something interesting to have in a, in a journal to take out. You could write on all of the, all of these pieces. You could write on the back of them if you wanted to. So, more journaling space. And I'm just going to slide this one down in here like that. Now, that looks better with a little bit more things in her wallet. Let's move that up just a little bit like that. Okay, so that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this idea for using up some more of our envelopes. I have a lot of envelopes that I save, and I keep thinking, with the price of postage going up, one of these days they're going to quit sending us stuff in the mail, and we'll be sorry that we don't have the envelopes anymore to play with. So I just keep saving them, rightly or wrongly. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got inspired. If you want to and think about it, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it so much. And thank you to all my subscribers and my viewers that I've been having lately. I'm really encouraged by the interest, and I appreciate it, and I thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.